All right, guys, we're getting ready to pull this uh, radiator out, do a coolant flush on this 89 Corvette. I uh, want to point a few things out here, uh, a few things that I've done. Uh, makes it a whole lot easier uh, taking this uh, cover, your shroud off here. Is I modified this down here. I uh, took a thing and cut this out when I had this apart one other time. I did it on this right here, Cut just cut that, there's a piece that goes across here, and uh, in order to take that off, you got to pull your hose off, and then you get, you know, if you don't drain your radiator first. Uh, the reason I did this, I will show you here in a minute, because these core, uh, C4s are real bad, and I also cut out around this here. So I could just, uh, I can just pick this up, pull it up out of here, and uh, I'll show you here. Let me uh, set this camera, I got to set this camera down, get this up out of here. But the reason I did this guy, modified that. See, this way I can pull it up out of here without uh, doing a whole lot other than taking the bolts out. You got several bolts there you got to take out of it. But you can see where I modified this here. This shroud, I cut it out right here. And I did some cutting out over here too on this side. Uh, like I said, the reason I did that because on these C4s, they're really bad. Now this one is not bad at all because I always kept it cleaned out. But what I was going to tell you, in between your condenser and your radiator, these things collect a lot of debris in there, guys. Because uh, what happens is that... It just sucks it up in there, and uh, if you never have one of these apart and you got one of these older C4s, I'll guarantee you that thing will be completely packed full of crap. And uh, that's the reason I modified that uh, shroud there, is so every, uh, every couple years <coughs> I can pull that off and take a look down in there. I got a few leaves in there, and there's some there's some dust and dirt, but uh, this was really clean because I always kept it nice and cleaned out. Uh, that was one thing I learned on these. Uh, you know, it makes them run hot, and uh, this is just a good way to pull that off there by modifying that so you can get in there and... You know, take a, a a blower or take an air nozzle or whatever, get down in there and clean that radiator out real good and clean your condenser out. Uh, also helps make your uh, air conditioner run a lot, lot, uh, lot cooler when you got all that junk up out of there. Because, like I said, these are real bad about collecting a whole lot of junk in between the radiator and the air con uh, the uh, AC condenser here. Uh, also, guys, I added a uh, external uh, transmission cooler on on both my uh, C4s. Really makes a huge difference, guys, on your transmission uh, temperature. Because uh, these cars do run hot. You know, fans don't kick on till about uh, 226 degrees or something like that. The fan. Um, I got another modification. I'll do in another video on how to kick that fan so you can kick that fan on with a flip of a switch and you can be able to kick your fan on at any time you want to for like uh let's say you're uh stuck in some <clears throat> some heavy traffic or something and the thing just you know it's constantly setting over around 226 230 degrees uh another video i'll show on how to uh set that up so you can uh kick your fan on anytime you want guys makes a huge difference on 
on uh, on cooling these things down. Like I said, they do run hot. But that's one thing, guys. Uh, if you've never done that before, pull that shroud off. And I guarantee you, you'll find a whole bunch of crud up in there. And uh, that's not good for your cooling system. So uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and, and uh, pull the rest of this apart. I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably end up taking this uh, throttle body off so I can pull the... Uh, so I can pull a thermostat out because I like to flush everything out. And then I'll take the, uh, what I'll do over here too, guys, is I'll pull these uh, hoses off here on the uh, heater core. Flush that heater core out real good. Flush all these uh, coolant lines out. Uh, and I'll be able to do that once I get this here uh, thermostat housing off there. And... Uh, Get everything flushed out real good, guys. Uh, and uh, we'll take the bottom hose off. We'll get that unhooked and uh, get the radiator drained out. And I'll go ahead and pull this radiator all the way out. And then I'll uh, what I'll do on that is I'll go ahead and uh, use some crep compressed air. Blow through the fins real good. Make sure all the dust and dirt's out of there. And then I'll probably go ahead and take a water hose and uh, flush flush that uh, radiator out real good and get that all flushed out. And I may even flush this, uh, take the, uh, probably take the air hose, blow that uh, condenser out once I get this radiator up out of the way. And uh, just makes them cars run a whole lot cooler, guys. Um, so uh, just a little... Uh, just a little trick I did there. Um, like I said, this makes it a whole lot simpler. Uh, if you know, if you don't want to pull your radiator hose off and all that, uh, and then over in here, you got to take all that stuff off just to get this shroud off. Um, and once you get the shroud off, uh, what I did, like I said, I cut this out right here because there's a piece that goes across here. I cut all this out. And I modified all this. I cut all this here out. This way, guys, I can just lift that shroud right up off there. I can get in there, check my uh, check in between the radiator and the condenser. And uh, as you can see, there's a few leaves in there, but nothing like uh, nothing like before, guys. Uh, first time I done that, that thing was uh, it was over halfway full of leaves leaves and debris uh just dust and dirt over the years so uh just a little tip there on how to do that guys uh modify that that way you can pull that right off you don't have to drain any of your coolant or anything else get in there once every two three years make sure that's cleaned out real good guys it'll keep your uh keep everything running a lot better a lot cooler you get that air flowing through there a lot better uh help keep that motor cooled down guys so that will do it on this video here guys